Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. And today is the 10th of January, um, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.19pm. Alright, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important love messages that Gemini's need to hear today. at the bottom of the deck I, I got a really specific uh, message here this is just for some of you um, hmm. I feel like for some of you you may be wondering or it could be your person again it could go vice versa so somebody here could be wondering if being in a relationship is holding this person back from from advancing their career from focusing on their career or on their money I don't know whether it's you or this person. Again, it could go vice versa. But the Hierophant here, um, this for me indicates marriage, commitment, higher beliefs, spirituality or re religion, um, teacher-student dynamics. I feel like Gemini, this could also be someone here with the Knight of Pentacles and Wildfire. This person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Could be a Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. With the Knight of Wands. Um, hmm. There's a lot of stress here. Nine of Swords. Some of it, it's you stressing out about money. About whether, you know, it, if someone is holding you back from being able to advance your career. But um, this is a love reading. So, Knight of Pentacles and Rivers can be an individual who hasn't been really stable or uh, committed could be thinking now about committing with the king of pentacles now in an upright position but afraid of commitment though with the nine of wands and the hierophant but knowing this 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 is the right thing to do this is where it should be going so gemini for some of you if you're currently connected with someone right now i do sense this person wanting commitment or wanting to commit to you but could be fearful of that commitment okay and because the hermit is right here maybe this person has bad experiences in the past or maybe just overthinking as well with the nine of swords overthinking over analyzing page of swords trust issues perhaps and the knight of wands can indicate maybe this person could be a fire sign aries sagittarius or a leo i do sense gemini if you're currently connected with someone this person wants you this person is passionate about you but they're not sure with the five of swords if if this is going to be worth it at the end of the day um because they may have some trauma from the past maybe it may be related to you or maybe it's your own personal trauma past past trauma and we've got the four swords here mom first again overthinking right you could be kindly connected with someone who is overthinking all kinds of you know uh like possibilities but it's leaning towards negative still because of the nine of wands here and i think um if giving this per if you give this person some time and assure this person i think they would commit eventually with the hierophant here if you're currently connected with someone yeah and the hierophant also indicates some sort of a structure organization or discipline or something that is you know being done religiously a sort of a pattern that i would say um it's almost like i don't know whether it's you or this person but then it's it has something to do with uh, consistency yeah so the more you show this person consistent consistency that you're consistent then the more they will build this trust with you and for some of you it's this person 
building consist trying to build consistency with you so you would trust them it could go vice versa okay so we've got the empress so someone could be looking at you here whether you could potentially be their wife or husband is not gender uh, not gender specific and we've got the queen of wands and then we've got the uh, eight of swords here for those of you in a third party situation though gemini there's an energy of um, someone feeling like, hey, do I still, you know, do, do, again, it's like settling down. The Empress is definitely a settling down kind of energy, while the Queen of Wands is not so, not as subtle as the, uh, the Empress here. So, uh, Two of Pentacles can indicate, you know, if you're in a third party situation, there could be someone, whether it's you or this person, wondering, do I want to settle down with this Empress or do I want to, or should I choose the Queen of Wands, which is someone I'm more excited about? Okay, maybe this is maybe the Empress is the original partner. You know, after a while, things do get a bit boring, and then here comes along someone new that seems a bit more exciting. So I don't know whether it's you having two pe person on your mind right now, or this person has has two person on their mind right now, and one of them is you. Okay, but I definitely see the original partner here. You know, the hermit's like reflecting and also analyzing because the um, hermit is a Virgo. So, so this person may be analyzing, do I really want this person for life? Or should I stay with this person if, if they've already been with each other for a long time? Or should I, you know, meet someone new? Or if there currently is already someone there, then... But this per the, this other person is more exciting, so I feel much more alive when I'm with this person. Maybe this person is newer than the the original one, right? So I don't know. That's for some of you. If you are if you do know you're in a third party situation, two of Pentacles here. You know, kind of contemplating whether to who to choose. You know, the Empress or the um, Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, feeling really stuck, and the Hangman just kind of not wanting to make a decision as of yet. I think it could be you or it could be this person, but someone here doesn't want to make a decision right away and really want to just suss things out yet, with uh, suss things out first with the Page of Swords and really wanting to see who he or she wants to choose or who you want to choose. And for some of you, it could be, if you have nobody at all currently, it could indicate two people coming into your life where you will have to decide whether you want to choose someone that you can see being with long term or choose that one person or the other person who makes you feel much more alive or or excited hmm and then we've got the ten of wands here more verse let's just see just a little bit more here so taking a risk with the fool here right um, a new leap of faith and then we've got the emperor oh so we've got the emperor and the empress see definitely there's a lot of contemplation there are a lot of contemplations of whether should one choose the original partner or someone that they can see being with long term or someone that gives them a feeling of excitement hmm but someone, but one person will be chosen eventually. I think, um, Gemini. If you're the one choosing between two, Spirit's definitely encouraging you to choose that person whom is your divine counterpart here. Okay, the Emperor and the the uh, Empress here, the person that you can see being with long term. Yeah, that would be the advice because it feels like. The strength and reverse it may be a little bit much easier because strength and reverse and the ten of wands and reverse, um, it will be much easier to deal to to be in this connection, than to choose the other one that offers excitement here. Because there'll be a lot of game playing. That's what I'm seeing. All right, Gemini, this is your reading. 
Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna leave you with a couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. In fact, I upload them right away, so they are brand new and up to date. Very up to date. All right, take care, Gemini. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.